What did you guys uh, propose to the ADs in the meeting? Uh, you know, nothing real uh, other than what the, we talked about coming in. They're really, it's pretty uneventful overall. We talked a little bit about satellite camps. Um, that was probably the, the main discussion. Um, so re really not much more than that. Was the SEC as tough as you've seen it as a head coach last year? Do you think it'll be the same this year? Well, you know, our league, the West, was, um, you know, Ole Miss and Mississippi State playing uh, very good football. And um, it was as tough as, uh, the, I guess, the five years previous I've been in it this past year. We expect it to be that same way, the way that those guys are recruiting. And, uh, you know, you got to bring your lunch every game. What do you expect out of Jeremy Johnson? Yeah, Jeremy Johnson, uh, he's a guy that uh, has been our number two guy for two years in a row. Uh, has a lot of experience as far as eating games. Uh, got a lot of reps with our ones. Uh, you know, he has as much experience as any quarterback I've had, you know, you know being third year since I've been in college. So we're really looking forward to it. He can throw it and he can run it. And uh, he's a good leader. How different is he from Nick Marsh? Uh, you know, he's you know Nick was one of the better zone read quarterbacks to ever play court, you know college football. Jeremy is uh, you know, he can run it, he can throw it. Um, you know, he, he really uh, really has a has a good arm too. Makes your offense harder to defend with his ability. Well, I don't know. Nick was pretty good too. So you know, it will we'll be a little bit different. Um, we'll try to build around Jeremy's strengths. Have some positive attendance come up in your discussions with parents, with recruits? How much does that happen already? Uh, you know, I think I think every school it probably come comes up because uh, you know that's kind of what's out there. So uh, you know, each school I'm sure has had conversations. You guys have one of the higher numbers in the conference in the country and obviously have a little bit of a competitive advantage there. Your, your peers want equality even though it's really not possible well, where we, you come out. You know, I think the coaches, you know, they talked about it, but, you know, that's that's above our coaches, you know, decisions like that. And, you know, um, everybody's got their own cost of attendance right now, so we'll see where that goes in the future. I know you this hasn't really been brought up a lot, but Hugh Freeze was talking yesterday about trying to bring maybe NFL technology into the college game where you get a microphone on yeah. quarterback's head iPads on the sideline. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on that? Is that something you'd like to maybe push next year? Or yeah, two? you know, there was some discussion uh, about that today. Um, a lot of it was still pictures too. You know, uh, you know, the technology part. I think if you ask most of our coaches, they would be for that. Uh, but for sure, the still pictures was one thing. I think everybody agreed upon. How much would it help you? I mean, is there moments where you thought the last couple of years, I'd love to be able to have that still picture and be able to <laughs> tell my guy Nick Marshall, this is what happened on that play. Yeah, yeah. You know, I think there, there'd be advantages for all schools. Uh, in that area, and uh, that's probably where the game's going. Uh, but with, there was some good discussion about it. Uh, I'd, be, I'd be for it. You mentioned this being pretty uneventful uh, as far as decisions yeah. and that kind of thing. Was there any general consensus about the satellite camps, about uh, senior transfers, that yeah, type of the, stuff? The satellite camps, you know, I think we made it clear that, uh, you know, we were against it. Um, but, you know, if it keeps going that way, I mean, we possibly could get involved in that. You know, if you look at uh, our conference, we've done very well recruiting um, you know, in the past. So, you know, I think some of that probably is a little more overblown than, uh, than people think. Gus, could you go significantly faster if you could communicate with your quarterback if you had a microphone? Well, I mean, that, 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 could, that could be a possibility. I think all schools could, could do that. Um, you know, bottom line is you got to get first downs. And, uh, and, and then that allows you to go fast. So would you be a, a microphone guy, or do you think maybe it would close the gap between what you're already doing and let other people win? You, you, you know, I think, I think uh, you know, the pros do that. And, uh, you know, I think that's probably where our game's going in the near future. I would be all for it to be able to, to talk with the quarterback, uh, you know, before the play. How much discussion was there about it in there? Uh, there was a little bit of discussion. Uh, like I said, I think the big thing was the still pictures. I think everybody is for that. Um, you know, just getting that immediate look of exactly what technique they're in. Um, but as far as the, the, you know, talking with the quarterback and one person on defense, you know, there was, there was a little bit of talk about that. As far as Blake, count, as far as Blake count is goes, yeah. just kind of what are you expecting from him this fall? Well, he's a veteran guy, uh, has a lot of experience. Um, you know, he's a very talented young man. And so uh, we have a need in that area. So, uh, you know, I think it's a win-win. you like him at corner? Uh, we do. Do you think he, how do you think he compares with Josh and how do you view that at this point? Because you're bringing in a starter, a longtime starter in the Big Ten against one of your returning starters. Well, you know, you got a lot of defensive back uh, positions. Uh, Coach Muschamp has a good plan. Uh, you know, Blake will be a part of that. Uh, we think he's, uh, you know, has a chance to be a phenomenal player. And, you know, we have uh, small numbers as well, you know, uh, that uh, that'll provide 
be able to provide depth, but uh, he's a guy that we're expecting to come in and play. And Jamel Dean and Darius James, what do you see out of those guys? Uh, you know, I can't comment on anybody that's not enrolled, um, but Blake has. What about Will Muschamp's impact on recruiting, immediate impact in recruiting in Florida? Yeah, it's been very big. You know, last class definitely showed that. Um, you know, he's starting to recruit guys to fit his system. And, um, you know, we got quite a few guys in this last class that will – be on the field, probably be on the field the first game, and if, if not, play a lot, but at least give us some depth. So, uh, you know, he's building this thing like he wants it. I've said it before, I think he's uh, either the best or one of the best defensive minds in all of football, so we're, we're very fortunate to have him, and uh, he's going to build this defense like he, like he needs to. Could he, could he be kind of, you know, the missing link maybe on, on the staff? I mean, a guy like him to come in because the defense has been a challenge. Well, I, th I think if you look at his track record, I mean, he's been, you know, he, he gets it done everywhere he's been. Um, you know, in addition to our staff that's already there, I mean, I think it's a very good situation. I think we're set up staff-wise to to be a contender, you know, every year. I mean, selfishly, you got to like it because it's going to give you more opportunities on offense, right? You know, that, that's the plan. There, there, there's no doubt. That, that's definitely the plan. Um, you know, to improve on defense, and you know, if we can improve on defense, you know, we, we think we got a, a chance to compete, you know, every year. And um, you know, he provides a lot of stability, a lot of confidence. You know, our defense is starting to take on his personality, and um, you know, that's a good thing. What personality would that be? Uh, they're, they're flying around <laughs> like their hair's on fire. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, our, our players are flying around, and. Uh, you know, they're, they're uh, at attention and they're on go. Yes, in general, when you are recruiting a player, a transfer or high school player who has an injury history, just what kind of do, what's in the due diligence process? I mean, how much medical background can you yeah. see and look into? Yeah, you know, not just a transfer, but it, even high school. I think you do your homework on each individual situation and uh, just try to project, you know, the best you can as far as that person fitting in, you know, on your team. So yes. even the spring, sorry, man. so even the spring, from this year to last year, you saw just an enormous difference with uh, Will Muschamp's uh, impact. Well, I mean, you know, he, he's an energy guy. You know, he's a high energy guy, and uh, you know, he he really has brought a lot of energy and excitement on the defensive side. Um, you know, we had scrimmages this spring that the, the defense got after the offense, and uh, you know, that's a that's a good thing. And uh, so we're, we're excited. I apologize for your address. Okay. The dean kid. Yeah. yeah, I can't comment on anybody that's not. Yeah, that's correct. I guess uh, a lot of people around college athletics would like to get rid of early enrollees. How do you feel about that? And, and you know, especially yeah. you, you were in high schools. I mean, you know yeah. these kids in their senior years. Yeah. Is there a plus minus? Yeah, yeah. I mean, the early enrollees for talking about early signing day, or are you talking about early early enrollees? Yeah. Guys coming in. Yeah, I think each individual is different. You know, some guys really are, are set on that, and I mean, and obviously if that's what they want to do, I mean, it's good for colleges to get started, especially the guys that got a chance to play, you know, early. Guys, how much is Duke's loss about insurance policy? Uh, right offhand, I can't answer that right now. Is, is there anyone else who had one? I know, like Avery looked we're, into we're, 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 Yeah, we've got a couple others.